Hey what's up everyone, this is Dragon and this is my first Pokemon battle that I've ever posted on YouTube. I really hope that it turns out well and that is very enjoyable for everyone that watches it. These first six Pokemon that I have, it's uh, Stoutland, Simisage, Emboar, Jellicent Unpheasant, and Amoongus. Now these are six Pokemon that I started out with in the very beginning of the game. Oh, and also, as a debut to the channel, Koi is my opponent. And that's why the channel is named Koi and Dragon, because it's us, Koi and Dragon, who are putting videos on the channel for you all to enjoy. What Koi has is an Unpheasant and, um, what's that? Zeb Striker, Samurott, Leopard, Stoutland and Simiseer. And those are also her six starting Pokemon for when she started her journey. I wanted to make the first battle a uh, not too serious battle. I mean, I I'm 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 going to say that I'm pretty well versed when it comes to the competitive mantra of battling and how to outsmart your opponent and whatnot. However, I wanted to make the first battle a bit more casual so that it can just be a bit more of a warm welcome to people who would be seeing it for the first time. Um, well, I just want to get to the battle straight away because, hey, you know, I don't want to hold it back any longer, but let's get straight to the battle. Okay, so... Now, in this case, she sends out her plumsy first, and I send out my doggy style, and I have Intimidate, so plumsy now has less attack. Now, as far as what I'm expecting her to do, I know that since the six Pokemon that I have now, you know, it's, it's kind of like an all-around team, and we're just trying to see what each other has. Now a lot of people don't really know that Stoutland can get Thunder Wave and of course I took full advantage of this and I Thunder Waved her Unpheasant and I know that's gonna probably do good for me in the future because I have an Amoongus on my team and I would at least be able to get one attack off if my Amoongus if things went off a little bit too hazy. Um, well she air slashes me and that's not going to really do that much damage. I see that she's using Air Slash instead of Fly because, I mean, you're paralyzed. Why would you want to use a two-turn attack and you're paralyzed? It's, but I, I guess statistically that reduces your chance of hitting by, what, 75%? Anyway, so um, she's fully paralyzed and that allows me to immediately just get another return in. But she uses Quick Attack and... And she gets just a little bit more damage off, but that doesn't matter, and I finish her off with the return. And let's see, who does she send out next? Who does she send out next? Um, yeah, let's just wait and see. Okay, she sends out her own Stoutland, and I see that it doesn't have the Intimidate. It must have the Sandstream, because it didn't do anything to me. Now, I know that Stoutland is going to be a normal type, and it's going to have this normal type attack. And she uses a Retaliate, which would have done 140 plus stab damage if I did... Wait, is it 140? No, wait. No, that would have been 140 total. So, um, I just go in and use the Surf, and she uses the Crunch, because... Um, Stoutlands, they do carry the crunch. And I knew that was going to happen, and I switch over to my um, Unpheasant, and I'm able to just take that crunch with no problem. And I have Rocky Helmet, so now Stoutland is taking a bit more damage. And then I finish it off with a return, and not have to worry about any stab normal type attacks that Roar would have. And that just finishes off Roar, and Roar is gone. Now she sends out her Samurott, and I'm thinking, okay, most likely it's going to be a water type attack. Why not, All right? So I send out my Jellicent, and she predicts it beautifully and uses Toxic instead. So now I'm worried, and I'm like, okay, obviously, you know, she's not going to, like, what, what's she going to do, right? And then she uses Surf, so now I'm like, okay, now she's predicting my predictions of me predicting the predictions. And then she switched 
up her attacks, knowing that my Jellicent was an obvious water type and could have had water absorb. So I just go for the obvious Giga Drain and she sends out her mojo. I'm like, okay, um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the safe thing and I'm gonna switch over into my Embor and be able to handle this monkey no problem. And she predicts that pretty nicely and uses a yawn attack. And now, in this case, I'm forced to switch. I really have no choice. I have to send my beef back into the factory. I uh, know, <laughs> that's terrible. So, uh, I've sent out my Jellicent again. And, um, hey, now she uses Grass Knot. Um, she probably was expecting me to... Um, use a straight water attack, but I recover because well, I mean I didn't know that she had grass knot So I just kind of knew I was gonna be able to get a free recover, but in this case I know that's not gonna happen so um, she switches into her goomer her um, Electric attacker on her team and then I switch into my beef because I want to be able to do something to prevent myself from getting attacked in a way that would really put me in the hole. So she thunderbolts me, and now I go for the flame charge, thinking, "Okay, I'll be faster next turn, and I won't have anything. And I could just, I could just kill her with a flamethrower, and that'd be it." But surprisingly, Goomer is faster than I thought, and she gets off another thunderbolt and finishes off my beef. And that beef was really, really tough. I know, I know, I'm terrible. So I send out Bulbapedia, and the flame charge here is an obvious play. I mean, practically every Zep Striker, at least as far as the beginning starting Zep Strikers, will have flame charge at some point. So I go for the seed bomb, knowing that my attack is pretty good for um, a semi sage, and I finish it off, and that is that. No problems there. So now she sends out her mojo, and I know that she's not going to immediately go for the flamethrower. So I do a pretty risky play, and I just straight go for the focus blast. And it doesn't do enough to where I'd be able to two-hit KO'd at that range. So now I'm going to be forced to switch, because I know the flamethrower is coming. So in a way, I know Moongus is kind of useless as far as this team is concerned. So I switch in my Moongus for Death Fodder, and she burns that plant until it just becomes ashes and Amoongus is now dust and so now I'm able to get a safe switch in to my unpheasant and I know that my unpheasant will be able to kill it with a return and I will have no problem with mojo ever again and a useless critical hit and mojo is down so now she sends out her Nijo and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go for the return. This is more of my revenge killing Pokemon as far as the starter team is concerned. And I knew maybe she wasn't going to go for the Surf because I still have my Jellicent. So she went for Toxic instead. That was a very smart play because either way, both of my Pokemon in any sense would be taking damage. Uh, more or less. And then she just has the ability to take advantage of that. And... Be good to go now as you can see she has both the um, razor shell and surf attack I mean the guys this is a startup team come on <laughs> come on so I send out my Bobapedia and now she sends out her Vrina her last Pokemon now at this point it's pretty much a bit of a showdown it's Vrina versus me and I know that Vrina's um, can really be fast uh, that Vrina being um, a light part and I just immediately go for a seed bomb because I know that um, these uh, Leopards have terrible defense so she shadow balls me and I'm like oh god oh god what will it do oh god so freaking close that was that was so close now I'm actually kind of a bit concerned I know Leopards have low defense so I go for the seed bomb and yes it's dead Yes, very, very close game. Amazing, amazing close game by the Amazing Koi. And that, my friends, is the end. I really do hope that you enjoyed this battle. And 
there will be many more battles for the future that will be posted on this channel for all of you to enjoy. Well, take care, and you'll be hearing from Koi soon because she's also going to do um, another. She has the um, battle from her perspective, and she'll be talking about the battle from her perspective. So, take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video.